social media media scrapbookers it's Katie and I want to show you just uh, this is my husband's iPad we've got an iPad filming an iPad <laughs> um, but I want to go to Pinterest and I just want to show you um, the way that I organize my boards so I I have and I have had many 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 pins and many boards and one way that I found to keep um, keep it organized is to have categories. So I have a category of ancestry. I have a category of concepts. One of the one little frustration that I have with showing you these concept these um, categories is that Pinterest does not put them in alphabetical order. Now you can move them around just by dragging them. Um, but I found that's kind of tedious to do, so I don't worry about them being in alphabetical order. But when I go to pin something, they are in alphabetical order. So say I wanted to pin the, uh, pi that picture, then I would go to pin it, and then it's going to bring up my boards. It's going to show me my recently picked boards, but then it will show me all of my boards, and when it shows me all of my boards, they're going to be in alphabetical order. So say this lady was from the 40s, I could go to my decades category and go to the 40s and pin her there. But while I have this up, let me just um, go through some of the board categories that I have. So I have ancestry, I have, and that would be, um, I just have one there now, and I've revamped my boards recently, so things have changed a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm still, I'm actually recategorizing a lot of things. Um, I've got a category of celebrate and under that I have celebrate birthday, celebrate Christmas. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I have celebrate as a category. So I have birthday and Christmas. So if you, well, I guess we can't take a look from here. Um, but I want to show this to you in this way just because it is in alphabetical order. Then I have colors, concepts. Um, I have the decades, so the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. Um, and that way, when I go to pin something, these are going to come up in alphabetical order. And even though I have 10 different, or you know, nine or 10 different boards for decades, I know where I know where to find them. So it's just a category categorization system that makes it easy. I've also got um, boards for design rules, embellishments, I've got family and family history, I've got go, and under go I have adventures, like places we, you know, we take adventures to, place go, colon, places we love, theme parks, travel, scrapbooking, I've got a category for home, so we see housekeeping tips and Ikea shopping list. I've got a category for inspiring people and also one for layout design. Under that I've got two page layouts, I've got layouts with big photos, I've got layouts that are centered or layouts with grids. Um, I also have motif boards, so um, one of the boards that's confetti and bokken and another motif that I like is Viewmaster. Um, we get into photography, productivity reference, scrapbooking by numbers, and this is again a lot like the decades. I've got scrapbooking um, by one photo, by two photos, by three photos, so layouts with four photos. Um, those can all be categorized in that way, and those go zero through ten, and I also include um, one that has no photos. I've got um, scrapbook classes online, scrapbook organization, scrapbook podcasts, scrapbook process videos. I've got seasons, um, summer, spring, winter, and fall, and shapes like hearts or circles or triangles. Um, I've got a category called story, and one of the subsections is journaling prompts. Another is stories without photos. Um, and that would be uh, if I had a story that we tell in our family many times, but we don't necessarily have a photo for it. I might find a photo and put it on that board so that I would have a photo even though I don't it wouldn't be my personal photo. I've got techniques, um, art journaling, hand journaling, painting, punches, stamping, watercolor, 
And then the last category is things we do. And I've got one uh, board for school and one for work. And really, you can, um, you can make up whatever kind of categories that you can think of. But I think that having the categories makes it so much easier to organize your boards. So I'm not actually going to pin that lady. Um, but let's just go back. And if we look back at my boards, I have... Oh, it doesn't tell me how many boards. Well, there's three there. <laughs> Four... One, two, three, four, five, six, I think I, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have a, I want to say I have like 80 boards, but I don't feel like I have 80 boards. I feel like I only have about 10 categories of different types of boards, and that really makes it easy for me to manage. So I really encourage you to create categories for your Pinterest boards.